actually uh, very fortunate to be in the presence of this animal. Uh, this is an Amur tiger, and there's uh, like six subspecies of tiger. And uh, this one is one of the most uh, endangered. You have the South Chinese tiger, which was down to about 50 individuals, but it may now be extinct in the wild. But this one here is about 250, uh, but that's the census population. But the actual population of those that can actually reproduce and, and produce offspring is uh, approximately 14. So the effective population of these cats in the wild is only 14 individuals. So they're critically endangered. Now what's unfortunate is once you had uh, perestroika in Russia and you had the complete economic collapse in Russia, um, hunting became quite popular, not just, well for their body parts. Uh, and uh, a lot of the uh, tiger corpses that, that they find, or researchers when they knock them down uh, to uh, do uh, health checks whatnot, they're riddled with bullets, bullets lodged in their bodies. They're just, uh, it's like a really high number. Just to think that their value is really, it's you know, it's in their parts, not in the tiger itself. Yeah. You know, they're so valuable in uh, other countries. Their pelts, their eyes, their whiskers. Uh, they're they grind their bones for stupid magical power. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's really quite, quite incredible. And so, it's zoological parks like Jungle Cat World, a wildlife park, where we are part of uh, breeding programs just to ensure that we have that type of genetic stability. You know, we have these. Mm -hmm these um, uh, sustainable populations in captivity but uh, it's there's actually not enough zoos right now that's the, that's one of the problems and this is only one species there's 1.7 million other species on the planet that is that have uh, similar struggles it's a very it's too bad. So programs like this is just, we offer this to the public so that the, the visitors just, there's nothing, when you read about how endangered they are, it can be quite moving, or if you watch a documentary, but to experience a tiger, it's such a visceral experience that is, you just can't replace that with anything else. And it just creates this emotional connection with the animal uh, and the plight of the animal, and it just does such a, like it's just this, this connection, and it can really change your life.